this is? Homecoming week! That is correct. Homecoming week! That is also correct. Bring it. First off, during homecoming, we, we've got Purple Rush going down at 7 o'clock in the gym. I am extremely pumped about this. There's going to be games. There's going to be court people being there in the competitions. There's going to be lots of athletes, opportunity to get to meet the teams. You don't want to miss it. I am excited. And guess who's emceeing? My buddy, seven foot tall, Matt Rogers. You don't want to miss it. Seven o'clock. Be there in the gym tonight. All right. And right after that, at uh, 830, we've got Mud Tug of War in between Memorial and Case Bowl. Prepare to get dirty. All right, also coming up tomorrow night, we've got Scratch Tracks coming back to town. Mm. They're one of my favorite bands to ever visit SBU. Yes. Also bringing one of their best friends. Yes. Apparently, Sean Michelle is going to be visiting us. She is one heck of a bro. singer, maybe? Bro, and it is, what she does. it's a man. He has a massive beard. Michelle? Yeah, it's Michael, I think. He was on American Idol. Big beard, dude? Dude, that dude was really good. He's kind of I'm slim. barely clad. Don't expect him out there. Because David he's, Crowder style. Yeah, right? more like that. Wednesday is uh, Spirit Chapel Day. So uh, show up in high spirits. There's going to be lots of activities, lots of people coming up on stage doing a lot of weird, weird, awesome, yep. weird, yep. weird, awesome things. Have to so watch obviously. out for the uh, Landon boys on that one. Typically one of the best. Also, coming up on Wednesday night, we've got the volleyball tournament. It's going to be held at Landon Court, 6 o'clock. Mm. So how do I get involved in that? You've got to sign up on the SGA office door. You have to have four people on your team. One person must be of the opposite sex. So get that sign up Wednesday afternoon. Go play some volleyball, free food, free drinks, free fun, free little things falling in the tree that will hurt your feet. That's going to be at 6 o'clock in Landon Court. See you there. All right, so on a later... That evening on Wednesday, we've got Fields of Faith, hosted by FCA. There's going to be uh, speakers and testimonies. It should be a great time to fellowship, and that is at 8 o'clock on the football field. And the granddaddy of them all, Thursday night, 7 o'clock, Pike Auditorium, we have the what? <laughs> talent show. Bring your talents, bring your friends, bring other friends, bring anything that you want to bring to this place other than food or drink into Pike Auditorium to watch Lots of people who have talents and weird things that they can do, maybe jumping or juggling or karate chopping people. That, that was last year, I do believe. So make sure you check it out. Thursday night, 7 o'clock, Pike Lake Torn, be there. And on Friday, we have Honors Chapel. You can get dorm attendance for that. And bed races at 4.30 on the uh, road in front of Randolph Chapel. You will also get dorm attendance points for that. And uh, after that's all said and done, Dinner on the floor. Also coming up that night, we've got uh, one of my favorite things coming up for the week, the patriotic concert put on by the United States of America. I didn't yes, know you, you were so patriotic, Dan. Yeah. Son, you don't know me very well, but I have got it. I don't know what that was for, but apparently <coughs> that's patriotic. Uh, 7 o'clock is going to be held in Pike Auditorium. There's going to be like some dessert fellowship. Uh, there's going to be lots of little knick-knack cookies, things like that. So make sure you check that out. 7 o'clock. Also, that night, we've got the Parade of Dorms. So if you want to be involved with that, come to the front uh -huh. door. They'll come and pick you up and then go, let's go somewhere. And there's going to be a parade throughout campus just to uh, bring unity and Yeah, it will be a festive spirit. event. One, yeah, you've done this before, I it guess. It will be. One heck of a festive event. If yes. you've heard it from him, you've heard it from Brett Stump first. <laughs> okay. Also, that night, following that at 9.30, this is a short little walk. It's actually a jog. There's going to be a bonfire pep rally at the typical spot inside in between the forum and the, the building that we do all that financial aid stuff. Hey, what is that building called? BYO Marshmallows. <laughs> BYO Marshmallows. Yes. I Figure that it. code out. I you said it. I get said a free it. dorm attendance points mm. for your team. For your team? It's the dorm, Dane. There's no team. Your dorm is your team. That's what I meant to say. All right, on Saturday, uh, you're all still pumped for Team Jesus. And uh, we're kicking things off at 8 a.m. with the lineup for the parade. The uh, parade actually starts at 10, but you're lining up at 8. Uh, then we've got a soccer game at 11.30 and a football game at 1. Bring your sunscreen. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Finally. We have for you our SGA updates, provided by America, given to you by the SGA President, Jared Cathcart. 
Thanks, Dan. I appreciate the introduction. No How are you guys doing today? Um, I'm Jared Cathcart, student body president, as Dane introduced me as. And I just want to come to you guys every week and kind of talk to you guys about what SGA is doing. What are we doing to address the student affairs and the emails that are coming into us and things like that. And so, as you guys already know, we meet every Monday night at 6 o'clock and we kind of debate the affairs that are going on and, and we set people out on the initiative of getting things done. And so, sometimes, things come to us and we're kind of split and we want a little feedback from you guys on what we should do. One of those issues this week, bike awnings for the bike racks. So this is what I want you guys to do. Get onto your SVU emails, give us feedback. The idea is that the bike racks out in the open by the dorms, they needed some type of coverage for, for when it rains. And so get on SGA at sbunib.edu, email us, tell us what you guys think. Do we need the awnings? Is it a good, is it a good spending of our money? Also, a lot of you guys are kind of getting to us about uh, maybe we should have a worship night, kind of an optional non-chapel student-led praise and worship. I have good news for you, my friends. Every Thursday night at 10 o'clock in Randolph Chapel, there is now going to be a praise and worship time for anyone to come to. So come to that Thursday nights at 10 o'clock every week. There will be praise and worship for you guys to come, participate in. It's open to anybody. So that's from us. That's from the SGA side of things. Again, email us your ideas, email us your concerns, anything you guys have that you want to communicate to us. SGA at SPUNIV.edu. Thanks, guys. That's the whole caboodle. Have a great week. <laughs> it's homecoming week. Hands <laughs> up, holla back here. Let's throw this party in gear.